and girls final and it is poonam of haryana versus arshi khanam of rajasthan watch out for this girl arshi khanam she has been making waves in the boxing circuit as has poonam and that is another poonam poonam beniwal on your screens decorated boxer of her time married of course to one of the greats of indian boxing akhil kumar missed a medal with a whisker at beijing stayed back of course to help other boxers and made sure we returned with a medal bronze it was for vijendra singh in that particular olympic games arshi khanam of rajasthan just coming into the ring one of the favorites coming out one of the better boxers coming out of rajasthan is arshi khanam trains in jodhpur i'm sadat pandey alongside me is ravikant singh poonam versus arshi khanam two very talented youngsters will be coming up against each other ravi jo asian youth champion poonam jo ki red corner mein hai haryana ke liye hisar ki trainee sai center haryana ke aaj 11 गोल्ड मेडल्स में से ये दूसरे गोल्ड मेडल की तलाश है उनके लिए और डेफिनेटली अब महाराष्ट्र को बहुत ध्यान से देखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि अब इसके बाद उन्हें कोई गोल्ड मेडल नहीं मिलने वाला है कोई भी फाइनलिस्ट नहीं है महाराष्ट्र का बॉक्सिंग रिंग में जी हाँ पूनम हरियाणा के लिए प्रतिनिधित्व करते हुए यहाँ पर Both and up, okay? she has been selected no holding, in no the side well, training center okay? hisar by punam beniwal who was on your screen not very long ago i asked punam beniwal what does she look for a boxer Ooh. when she selects him or her into her center and she says it's mentality that is all i look for everything else can be developed but as a boxer you're either born a boxer or you're not character and personality of a boxer is very different and if you don't have the mentality the character of spirit you will never make it to the top of boxing and that is what she looks for and she is looking to develop hisar as a hotbed it's the second hotbed hewani boxing club is of course where the best of our boxers including her husband akhil kumar have trained stayed and won championships and given us so many medals मैच रेफरी नागालैंड से है तीन सौ मोर नौ सौ हेड गियर में थोड़ी सी मुश्किल अर्शी खानम के लिए हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन गर्ल्स चौवन किलोग्राम का ये गोल्ड मेडल बाउट हरियाणा दूसरे गोल्ड मेडल की तलाश में आपके स्क्रीन पर पूनम और इनका मुकाबला है आशी खानम इंटरनेशनल जूनियर वुमेंस बॉक्सिंग टूर्नामेंट बैंटम वेट इसी वेट कैटेगरी में इन्होंने अपना नाम बनाया था हिंदुस्तान में उभरता हुआ सितारा स्पोर्ट्स के जगत में इन्हें माना जाता है आशी खान Just under two minutes to go in this bout, and Arshi and Poonam are going head to head, bicep to bicep, and there's nothing to choose between these two. And I think it's going to be like this right until the third round. Poonam के पास height का advantage है और reach का भी इस कारण से थोड़ा सा वो ज़्यादा aggressive हो सकती हैं जो एक एक कैरेक्टर होता है ट्रेनिंग सेंटर का भिवानी के बॉक्सर थोड़ा ज्यादा टेक्निकल हिसार के ज्यादा अग्रेसिव ये है फर्क का हरियाणा के खुद दो ट्रेनिंग सेंटर में फर्क और वो आप जब उनको देखें रिंग में तो ये साफ दिखता है बॉक्सर्स एंड ब्रॉलर्स बॉक्सर्स ऑफ कॉस्ट 
orthodox stylistic outfighters is what boxers are known as technically proficient brawlers also known as sluggers absolutely agree with you Ravi. there's a difference there between boxers that are from Hisar and boxers that are training at Bhivani Jadeesing was of course the boxing coach who set up Ran and gave us so many champions from the Bhivani Boxing Club himself went to Cuba learned the techniques from Cuban coaches came back implemented them that is probably where the technical proficiency of boxers from Bhivani comes from Hisar is a relatively new center set up recently it's an STC much like the one at Bhivani it's a site training center much like the one we are in right now here at Paltan Bazaar from where we are getting you live action from the boxing ring that's the red corner Haryana a little anxious because uh, Poonam wasn't able to exploit her uh, extra inches in reach and height so the corner would uh, certainly be advising her to be more on the aggression, aggressive side. Mauke to mile hai unko, lekin unko sahi dang sa fayda utha nahi paai hai. Ji haan, sehmat hu mein aapki baat se, Ravi. Aur ek close encounter ho dekhne ko mila hai hume. Pehle round mein Arshi Khanam aur Poonam ke beech. Urgency not being shown by either boxer. Nothing like what we saw in the previous bout where Bhavesh Katimani was only aggressive and hardly defensive. But as we did realize to our surprise and dismay that the only aggression does not impress the judges thought otherwise. Surprised and even Delhi's Rohit more with that gold medal, but anyway, what's done is done. Punam ko thoda sa aggression aur dikhana padega. Ashi Khanam is popping in and getting away from her opponent there. Doing well at the knees, using her head well, changing the angles. Not allowing Poonam to get clean punches in and if she's not in a position to punch, I like the way she's closing down the distance between the two boxers, not allowing Poonam to get her range. And now she's landed a clean one. Arshi Khanam, Poonam just on the attack. Lovely footwork by Arshi. Hours and hours of skipping and string training. A string attached from one end of the boxing ring to the other and that's what gets you the bobbing and weaving movement bread and butter of a boxer's life counter punching drop karke lekin distance maintain kiya hua hai kaafi acha unka strong left hai jiske punam ko ek warning mil jati hai head gear problem continues for Arshi Khanam good officiating there by the official from Nagaland just realizing that the head gear is out of place Health and safety of the athlete should be paramount as it is here and just giving her a moment to get her laces in order and her headgear checked. No problems there. Can take all the time we need. Straps of both the headgears are not quite in place. I mean, we shouldn't continue until they are. A strap can hurt the boxer in the eye. This is because the referee is very careful when he is wearing a headgear. If the top strap is loose, the eye is not loose. The eye is not loose. The eye is not loose. Medical advice for he 
बाउट कंटिन्यू की जा सकती है और एक वेलकम चेंज जो हम कह सकते हैं बॉक्सिंग की दुनिया में हुआ है ग्लव से लेसेस निकाले जा चुके हैं अब स्ट्रैकन ग्लव है मैं भी जानता हूँ रवि और आप भी जानते हो लेसेस का कैसे दुरुपयोग किया जाता था बॉक्सर्स को खास करके रबिंग के दौरान क्लोज रेंज में जब बॉक्सर आया करते थे एक दूसरे के देखिए ये तो एक टेक्नोलॉजी का एक प्रोग्रेस है याद करें तो आज से सत्तर साल पहले फुटबॉल की गेंद में भी लेसेस हुआ करते थे अब अगर आप किसी बच्चे को बोलें कि फुटबॉल की गेंद में लेसेस हुआ करते थे तो वो हैरान हो जाएंगे Just a replay on the bout that we have just witnessed between Poonam and Ashik Khanam. It's going to be difficult to judge this one. Not a lot there between the two boxers. There's an ebb and flow here. At times it's Poonam that's on top. At times it's Ashik Khanam. Defensive boxers. Both of them prefer to be on the counter punch, but uh, counter punching can get you only. that many points at some point you have to decide to be aggressive and go for it last and final round of the bout coming your way 54 kg is the final small uh, cut on the lip for punam so box <laughs> <Rather laughs> <being, laughs> really seal that one वेरी क्लियर You cannot turn your back on the boxer. The bout has to be stopped temporarily, and that's done. Sir, के पीछे पीठ पर आपके blows out नहीं किए जाते हैं। क्योंकि अगर जान बुझ के मारा गया तो उससे आपको judges penalize भी करते हैं। तीसरा और आखिरी राउंड है आखिरी 90 सेकंड बचे हैं इस बाउट में हरियाणा कॉर्नर थोड़ा एंशियस स्लिप करती हुई पूनम समथिंग वी डोंट सी वेरी ऑफन इन द रिंग बिकॉज दी नाइस थिंग नॉट सेम दैट ओ सेम स्पॉट पर अर्शी खानम में फिसली लगता है पसीना ज्यादा गिरा है उस एक स्पॉट पे यस आई एग्री विद यू इट्स द फिफ्थ बाउट देयर हैव बीन फोर बाउट्स बिफोर दिस एंड फोर Bouts of high energy, high octane stuff. So, no doubt about it. Mat, ring mat, that is, at places would be a little slippery. Both boxers gir chuke hain usi spot pe bari referee ki. Hey, box. Yes, I'm going to go in the third. And it's Puna versus Ashik Khanam. It's been a close encounter. It's been a war of attrition. This one. Another boxer giving away a lot, a lot of stoppages in the fight. But the footwork of Ashik Khanam has that matched the better punching ability of Poonam. Who will take the gold? मेरे साथ से सदा तभी थोड़ा सा एज है हरियाणा के बॉक्सर के पास ऐसी कारण से इस बात को महसूस कर रही हैं Ashik Khanam. ज्यादा एग्रेशन दिखाने की कोशिश में आखिरी सेकेंड दस सेकेंड अभी भी बाकी है इस सो स्टॉपेज इन दबाउट एंड विल बी दैट इन दर्ड राउंड हैज कम टू एन एंड And Ashik Khanam of Rajasthan fighting for the gold medal here against Poonam of Haryana, who is being watched on by her mentor Poonam Beniwal in the crowd.
she's there just behind along with the other officials watching on the action in the ring she's been here right from the start she's who will take the gold uh. what a bad thing to do spotting uh, young talent for her academy obviously when you have an academy to run you need those uh, young talents to develop and polish the diamonds await the formal announcement of the results ladies and gentlemen this is all about 42 past three point this season we got point four one champion in the red corner tuna it's tuna of haryana who has won another goal for the state of haryana in the boxing ring Back to back gold medals for Haryana in the ring. It was uh, Rohit Moore who won the gold and Poonam Beniwal just getting her notes in. Of course she will go back to Poonam and tell her where she needs to do better. Second final, second gold medal success for uh, Haryana. Smiling Poonam returns. There you see the taller boxer from Haryana in red managed to impress four of the five judges and uh, walked away with Haryana's second gold medal of the day. Little cut on the lip didn't uh, hold her back as she fought on gamely. Disappointment for Arshi Khanam, the brave fighter, but. Uh, not enough so we've got more boxing action coming up just a short while